Uh, I'm Stuart Tennant, I'm a civil engineer. I'm here today in the ICE 200 exhibition. Uh, specifically, I'm in the structure zone, uh, which has got displayed with some fantastic structural engineering and civil engineering feats. But I want to talk to you today about the Emirates Stadium, the home of Arsenal Football Club. I'm also an Arsenal fan, so I share the excitement and anxiety all football fans feel when they turn up for the match and walk in wondering how the game's going to go. But as a civil engineer, I'm also able to sit back and look in awe and admiration at the engineering feat of the Emirates Stadium and other similar, similar grounds. So why did, why did Arsenal need to have a new stadium? They'd been at Highbury for 100 years, which was their, their, their historical home, but they needed to increase capacity to compete financially with the rest of the Premier League. Uh, they wanted to stay in Islington, so they looked around for a site in Islington, and the only site they could found, find was a former industrial estate. Uh, it was a brownfield site and had a lot of ground contamination, so before it could be redeveloped, the whole area needed to be remediated. This called upon civil engineers to devise a remediation strategy that involved the removal of 25,000 cubic metres of soil and debris off-site so that it was clean and ready to build a new stadium. Additionally, it was a confined site with railway lines either side. This meant that we needed to need civil engineers to design two new massive footbridges. The south footbridge, which you can see here, is 22 metres wide. That's wider than the M1. It weighs a thousand tonnes. The whole bridge was built off-site and slid into position during one weekend when the railway was closed. Now let's look at the civil engineering aspects of the stadium design itself, the bit that you can all see when you turn up to watch a match. Uh, stadium de design has been described as, a, as balancing science and art so to create these wonderful uh, structures. Uh, the Emirates has got an oval swooping stadium uh, and that was driven by planning, uh, planning constraints and also the need to uh, allow spectators to be able to have a really good view of the pitch wherever you sit in the stadium. The roof uh, comprises massive, uh, four massive triangular tubular steel trusses that support the whole roof and span between eight concrete towers. These towers are called cores and they also uh, enclose all the services and the staircases. A structure like the Emirates weighs a, weighs a huge amount. Uh, imagine the foundation loads have got to be safely transmitted in the ground. So again, civil engineers have designed the foundations. That involves geotechnical science, and there's about 1,500 piles supporting the whole structure. They're bored 20 metres into the ground. So that's what you can see. That's the physical asset. But you've got to think about uh, what building a new stadium means. Uh, it was a, it not only was a new stadium, it's a massive regeneration project that civil engineers have created with a new stadium. Uh, about uh, 2,000 new jobs were created during the construction. About two million pounds worth of contracts were placed with, with local companies who benefited from that development. And, uh, and as a lasting legacy, 2,000 new ho homes were built. About half of those were uh, much needed uh, affordable homes for people in the local area. So it's not just about the stadium, it's not just about engineering, it's about what it does. The root of the word civil engineering is civilization, and you see that displayed in the, in the regeneration regener aspects of the Emirates. The prospect of working on projects like, like the Emirates Stadium are what inspired me to become a, a civil engineer some 30 years ago. And over my career, I've had such a fantastic time. I've worked on a whole range of things from bridges to tunnels to railway stations to water treatment works. It's such a varied career. No two days are the same. That's what I enjoy about it. It's very creative. We get, to, as a civil engineer, I get to see the end product there and I get to see the benefit it provides. Uh, whether it's a stadium, whether it's a railway station, whether it's a tunnel that provides clean drinking water. And there's a massive amount of career opportunities for young people in civil engineering. It's such a broad spectrum. You can be involved in the geotechnical aspects of foundation designs. You can get involved in the, in the fancy, uh, prestigious structures that everyone can, can see. There's uh, geo-environmental aspects, there's highway design, there's drainage design and surface water management, and the list goes on and on and on. So if you're sat there wondering what university degree to apply for, wondering what A-levels to take, and you like science and maths, you should go for civil engineering. You can't pick a better job. You will have a wonderful, varied and interesting career and will always be required for, to, to facilitate developments like the Emirates and everything else you see around you.